Today we're going to be breaking into that third roll out of that third lot of 10 unsearched wheat pennies I purchased from eBay. If you didn't catch my last video, my wife actually went through one of my rolls of unsearched wheat pennies. She found some interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and check that out. Or maybe you already did because I'm sure you're subscribed. I trust you to already be subscribed and if you're not, I'm sure you're hitting that button right now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I, I can hear you clicking. Just kidding. Anyway, so in this roll we got a reverse wheat scent ender and a 1921S ender. That is a very nice coin to be on the end. That is a semi key date. Let's get right into this roll. See what she's got hiding in here. Okay. Look at that steel scent. Steel scent. Something funny. I think that's a burned. Not sure. Well, now it fell out. Crap. Anyway, let's get into this roll. Look at that steel scent on the end. So let's see what's up first. First we have the 54. Philadelphia was 71 million. And coming up on our 1940 out of San Francisco with 112 million. Next on the pile is going to be a 46 Denver. The 46 Denver with 315 million. And coming up with the 55 Denver. The 55 Denver, 563 million. Moving right along with a 1928 Philadelphia. The 28 Philly with 134 million nothing real remarkable yet let's keep on let's keep on rolling the 52 san francisco with 137 million i know we got to be creeping up on some kind of special key date and this is not it the 46 s 46 s with 198 million really i'm just kind of hurrying because i can see that steel scent hiding in here i want to get to that steel scent here we got a 50 San Francisco with 118 million. Look at that. Would you look at this? Isn't that beautiful? I wonder what it is. First, we get the 38 San Francisco with only 15 million. Look at me. I was all focused on this. I didn't even notice that. The 1938 San Francisco, only 15 million. It's in pretty decent shape, too. Look at that. Still a lot of detail going on back here. I will definitely be taking that. I just want to grab that shiny one, but I can't. Not yet. First, we got a 44 San Francisco with 282 million. What is this? It's a 57 Philly. I mean, 57 Philly with 282 million. Actually, the best of that year. I will definitely take it. I will definitely take that. She's pretty. Looks like it's got some toning, too. If you can kind of see that rainbow. Not not very not very prominent, but nonetheless. Let's keep our right on moving. This one feels old. It's not. It's a 47S. The 47S with 99 million. Let's get this odd looking one. Okay, guys. That is a 1919 San Francisco. The 1919S with 139 million so while it might be old it is out to deceive you there is many of those in existence not really a key date or anything just old looks like it might have been buried for a long time got some got some real age going on there already what do we got we got the 47s i think we've already found one of those 47s with 99 million and here we've got the 24 Philadelphia. We're getting older. We're heading in the right direction. The 24 Philly was 75 million. Ooh, guys, I don't know if you noticed. You didn't because my lighting is kind of weird today. There, maybe a little bit. We have an Indian head poking out here at us. First, we got the 46 Philly. Not even worth my time. Let's get into this this here Indian head 
the 1907 look at the details still left on this coin. The 1907 Indian had 108 million minted. That is the highest minted year of all of the Indian head pennies. 108 million. So nothing real remarkable worth the same as an average Indian head being worth about, you know, two, three bucks, whatever. Nothing real special, but it's always cool to find one. Plus, this one has a lot of detail left going on here. Very beautiful. I will always take an Indian head, no matter what. Here we got a 56 Denver. The 56 Denver with over 1 billion in existence. This one, this one feels old. It is a 1917. I was right for once. 1917, 196 million. Let the record state that I was right about something. Just this once. Ooh, we got a 35 Philly. The 35 Philadelphia with 245 million. One more before that steel cent that's now poking out. 44 Philly with 1.4 billion. No. That's all I've got to say about that. Ooh, guys, look at this. First, we got the 43 Denver. Look at her shine. Then we got an, an uncirculated looking steel cent. I mean, not steel cent, steel cents here. The uncirculated looking weedy right there. First, we got the 43 Denver. Denver, the 1943 Denver with 217 million. Not bad, not bad. Look at that. I don't find many 43 Denvers. I've actually got a lot of 43 S's, which is bizarre because there was more of these minted than the 43 S's, but this one is in beautiful shape. A little bit of oxidation. Never hurt anybody. What is this? This is a 58 Denver with 800 million. Real pretty, but nothing special. Let's keep it right on a rolling. Ooh, we got a 52 San Francisco, the 1952 S with 137 million. Next on the pile was a 39 S. 1939 S with 52 million almost meets my criteria of semi key date, but not quite. 39 S, 50 million being that criteria, of course, that threshold. Here we've got a whoa. Okay. I can tell you from experience that this has got to be a 46 San Francisco because those ones seem to have the most wear on the date. We don't really know why, but this is looking like it's got to be one of those 1946 San Francisco with 198 million. Yeah, you can kind of make out the 46 hiding in there. Nothing real remarkable. Whoa. Bull in a china shop today. Here we got a 44S. Very crusty. Abe's got some green growth going on. Needs to get that checked out. The 44 San Francisco with 282 million. Moving on to one that feels old. The 29 Philly. I don't know if that counts as being old or not with 185 million. But we're going to say it's old, so let the record state I was right twice in one video. This one feels old, too. It's a 41S. Never mind. Did I say it was old? I was just kidding. The 1941S has 92 million. I would say this one feels old, but it doesn't. It's a 49. See, I knew better than that. The 49 Philly, 217 million who guys this one feels old i'm just kidding i'll stop now i'm sorry here we got the 53s the 1953 out of san francisco 181 million next up is the 44 philly with 1.4 billion no way no way on out of here with that 40 or whatever 1.4 billion here we got the 44S, a little bit better with 282 million, but still get on out of here, get right on out of here. This one looks very clean. We got a 38 Denver, very clean looking 38 circulated Denver, so that's not good. 1938 Denver has 20 million, so 
kind of a key date, kind of a semi-key date, but you took some value off of it. Whoever might have cleaned this looks like it wasn't cleaned very carefully either. Looks kind of worn, way too shiny. It's a shame, but I will always take that with only 20 million. And here we've got the 44 Denver, the 44 Denver with 430 million. That makes a full set of 44s for us. Here we got a 56 Denver, the 1956 Denver with over 1 billion. That goes in the Billion Club. Join the Billion Club. And here we've got the 1940 out of San Francisco with 112 million. Get on out of here. Next up is the 1949 San Francisco with 64 million. We're getting down there. We haven't found much. I know that, that that Ender hiding back in here somewhere. That one is nice. That one's only 15 million. First, we got the 26 out of Philly. The 1926 Philly with 157 million. And moving along to the 44 Philly. You guys already know all about those 44 Phillies. You don't need me to fill you in anymore. We got the Crooked 1945 out of San Francisco. 181 million and coming up with the 1939s the 39s 52 million we already found one of those like i said almost but not quite this is not horseshoes we're not playing horseshoes here we got a 1927 philadelphia the 27 philly with 144 million this one looks old it looks old the 41 philly and it's not has almost a billion with 887 million. Let's get to this red looking. It's just begging. The 1940 out of San Francisco, 112 million. And coming up with the 42S. 1942S with 85 million. Look at that steel scent staring right back at you. It just, it just wants to be picked up. It's just begging. First, we got another. We got another forty-four San Francisco, two hundred eighty-two million. Let's get that steel sent to forty-three out of Philadelphia. The nineteen forty-three Philly with six hundred eighty-four million, the highest mintage year of the steel cents. But this one's not in bad shape. A little oxidation. You can see the reflection on the back of my thumb when I get close. See that? Not bad. Not bad. It's always nice to find a steel cent. Something that was around in World War Two. Pretty hard to come by. But whoa, guys, look at this. What is this going to be? 1942, whoa, what? Actually, when I find them like that, they're from the teens. The 1942S, nothing real special with 85 million. Really got my hopes up. Look at that. Doesn't that just look aged? Doesn't that look like it should be something special? It's just not. Get out of here. Next. On the pile was the 44S. Again, we found enough of these. The 44S with 282 million. Let's get into something nice. Here we got a 41 Denver. That's not something nice. That's 128 million. Let's get right onto that Ender. There she is. A 1921 out of San Francisco with 15 million. That is the lowest mintage of this roll. It's a shame that it was the ender gave it away right away no surprises i mean i guess the steel cents were a surprise so you won't hear me complain plus i just got a 15 million mintage penny so i guess i can't complain much i don't know why i'm still talking it's in not so great shape for being entirely honest but 15 million nonetheless i will always take that 1921s so I guess that's going to be it for this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just do it. Just do it because I already told you twice. I won't tell you again. Just hit it. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.